We're back on. Okay. So we're, what were we saying? What were we talking about? Oh. I asked you what. Uh, why are you here? Mm. Why am I here? This. Oh, okay. This my this my new job. So I'm a teacher, but mm -hmm. I walked out of my job because I do not agree with school anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do not agree with it. In what way? It is not a place for education. Mm -hmm. It is a place for status. Mm -hmm. Um. And it is a place to put teenagers. What do you do with teenagers? You do with children, you have daycare and primary school. I think primary school, okay. When they become 13, in old world, they work. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. But in new world, not right. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, in new world, parents work. What to do with teenager? We can't let them walk in the street, <laughs> or we can't let them stay play video games. So we have to put them somewhere. Ah, we put them in more education. Ah, okay, more education. Why? Ah, to get job, get paid. Yeah? How do you get job today? What do you need? Education. Why? Because sometimes you're not able to do a few things if you're not educated. Mm -hmm. But what do you need? To show that you're educated. What do they give you at the end? Oh, a degree? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Degree. yeah that's degree, right. degree, 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 degree. Mm -hmm. What is degree? What? <laughs> it's something to prove that. You no, but what is it? What does it look like? It's a paper. Piece of paper. Yeah. That's some kind of validation. That it's a stamp. You're good enough. <laughs> yeah, it's a stamp. It says you're good enough. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How terrible that we have to spend seven years of our teenagers mm -hmm. and more into, into university, teenage years and young adult life, mm -hmm. to get one stamp. One stamp. Think of all stress, all problems, mm -hmm. all anxieties, all uh, competition, oh, yeah. all relationships, mm -hmm. every day. You have to do all of this for one stamp. Yeah. Why do you need stamp? To get job. Why do you need job? To get food. <laughs> to get food and money. Yeah. Well, do you think food is not available if you don't have stamp? I think it still is. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's something like... I think coming from India, you'd know that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's something like quality of life, maybe? You know, you want better food, you want luxury, and so you're looking for better money. Luxury. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know the, the most unhappiest people on the planet, who they are? I think people who work the most because they want to make good money. They're motivated, but maybe, and they're unhappy if they don't get what they want, but people trick themselves into being um, sad, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But the most, in my opinion, the most unhappiest people are rich people. <laughs> think about it. Think about this. Think, who, who's the most richest person in the world right now? Nah, I don't follow this shit anymore. <laughs> Used to be Bill Gates, yeah? Yeah, yeah then there's Jeff Bezos. Did the Mexican guy, oh. then Bill yeah. Gates again. <laughs> okay, uh, I think there's a guy who owns Amazon. Yeah, Jeff oh. Bezos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, these guys are entrepreneurs. They're super beasts. They're superhumans, right? Mm -hmm. But if you think of a rich person with that much money, right? Now, if I had that much money, within... <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> if I had that much money, within, th I reckon, six months, I will be bored. Think about it. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone, like, no, nobody can, can be, like, re really, really, really happy. I mean, when you're poor, you think you need money to be happy. Uh -huh. And Trick. when you have money, you have everything you want to, and then... But no, you don't have everything you want. You have every material thing that you want. E everything, oh, yeah, but you don't think... You, you, you can, like, buy... You, you can't, can't buy this. Yeah, yeah you can't. Mm. You can't buy this. Mm. This is uh, priceless, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's crazy because I think if when you're rich like this, you have to worry about 
keeping it. Keeping like uh, this money, so, so you, you can like you're worried. You you yeah. I'm going to lose my luxury, yeah. lose my comfort. Mm-hmm. And here's what happens when someone is in comfort, they become soft. And they get afraid that if they're soft and they lose, they live in hardship and they're soft, they perish. Do you know perish? Perish. No. Perish? No. You yeah. know perish? Yeah. What does it mean? Uh, something like destroy. Or yeah. Yeah. You die. Oh. Perish is more, more than die. Perish is everything goes wrong. You lose, you lose your soul, your dignity, your mind, everything. Perish, very bad. Destroy. Yeah? But if you live hard life... Are you soft? No. No, you're hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So you are stronger, but mm-hmm. you have hard life. Yeah? Harder the life, stronger you are. Mm-hmm. Like diamond uh, or pearl. I think it's, it's different to, <laughs> to, like, to people. I mean, poor people and rich people, they are like everyday, mm-hmm. everyday struggling about something. You know? Mm-hmm. About money. About something. And something relating to money, maybe? Uh, maybe. I mean, uh, I have my, my point of view. I, I, I grew up uh, without that much money, but I, I had a, a great life. <coughs> but I don't know. I, I, I never had a, uh, that point of view of a, a rich person, you know, a rich person. Mm. So how can I say that guy is not struggling as much as... As I am, you know, uh, you have open mind. Yeah, I, I, I can't fear a pen, uh, your pen, you know. So, you know, this guy, Sergio, Sergio, or Sergio, 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 yeah, Sergio. Yeah, Sir, Sergio. Serge, Serge, oh, Serge, yeah, yeah. Serge, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You know, this band, System of a Down, no, I haven't lead heard. singer, Serge, uh-huh. his name's Serge, Synchronicity. Oh. Now, Serge, tell them how much money you had when you came here. 1,000 euro. My plan was travel around Europe for a year and I had 1,000 euro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 1,000 euro for one year. Yeah. I still have some. Hey, hey. (laughs) How how long have you been here? Uh, Almost three months. Three months? Yeah, almost. Wow. On 1,000 euro. 1,000 euro. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. How? How did you do it? Uh, I, I'm working in this hostel as a volunteer, so I can save for free. Mm-hmm. That's a big, big yeah. amount of money you save. Yeah. I Accommodation mean, is the ultimate price. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I can make money because I, I'm a barber. Oh, so wow. sometimes I, I can make money, like I have some customers and that's how I can make some money. Mm-hmm. And that's how I... I, I Eat, I drink, drink. <laughs> yeah, you drink. I drink, I drink, yeah. and I eat. I, then I drink again. Yeah, yeah. You um, so you have a you have a skill that you trade. Yeah, I, you have a skill that you can take with you. Yeah, yeah, I I do, and that's. Did you learn from school? No. Ah, I didn't. living life, traveling, meeting people. What happened? No, yeah, no, it's work. Like, uh, yeah, traveling, mm-hmm. meeting people, maybe meeting lots of women mm-hmm. and men, and having fun and drinking and eating, and uh, no education has anything to do yeah. with that. Uh, yeah, uh, it's. I was going to say this is not for everyone. Obviously, there are some people who love to learn, mm-hmm. and they love to be academics. And they're passionate about that. But that's some people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I, I think uh, school for, for teenagers uh, is something that is not that bad. I mean, sometimes the, the way that you teach the teenagers, that's bad. Because, I mean, at least in Brazil, you, you, when you're a teenager, you go to high school, uh, they teach the same thing Every uh, school, every, and uh, yeah. I, I mean, they're not teaching what you want to learn. They teaching what they want 
you to like. Yeah, exactly. So exactly, it's a system. You, yeah, the, the system, and yeah, it's fucked up. So that's kind of crazy. It's, and you were educated to, I don't know, to study, and now you need to you you get a degree in your high school, and what are you gonna do next? Yeah. What are you gonna do next? Yeah. What are you gonna do next? What are you gonna do next? Yeah, you gonna study and brace you. <laughs> was was there a sneeze or not? No. No. Oh, whoops! I take that back. No blessing for you. All right, sorry. Yeah, yeah. You were saying about next thing, next thing, next yeah, thing. Yeah, next thing, next thing, next thing, and sometimes you uh, you get like super worried about it. Yeah. What should I do next? Yes. And I I had this thing. And I was like, oh, fuck, what should, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What do I like to do? But okay, well, what I like to do, it, nah, they don't pay like... For this? Don't worth, yeah, don't, don't worth like... Uh, I'm not spending four years of my life still in that yeah. to work like yeah. 12 hours a day yeah. and get that much money. Nah, what can I do with that much money? Nah, yeah. Nothing. It's, I mean, if you think about the game that they make you play, that's yeah. called life. It it really freak, it's, you can freak out about it. Yeah. It's like fuck. What? Like there's a girl who was sitting right where you were last yesterday. We did a little recording, and she's she's like, I'm like, what are you doing? Uh, I'm studying. Um, uh, what was it? Medicine. I'm like really, medicine. Cool. Uh, what? What are you? Why are you studying medicine? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what? You don't know. Yeah, it's just something I guess I like to do, kind of. <laughs> you're gonna live. You're gonna dedicate hour after hour of stress, thinking, energy, blah blah blah, planning, just to do something that you kind of like. Waste of time. Yeah. And then you're gonna come to a point where you're gonna ask yourself, "Why the fuck am I doing this?" <laughs> yeah? yeah. And that's when you start getting sweat. Because you start realizing, holy fuck, I've just wasted four years of my life doing this. Yeah. But you have to actually go through that process sometimes to come up with that realization, mm -hmm. in my opinion. But yeah, it's, it's unnecessary. If you just, from the beginning, realize that it's all just a game anyway, then you can work out other ways to make money to meet those standards of shelter, mm -hmm. food. Beyond that, everything else you can achieve. Oh, what, what makes you, you happy? I mean, I, I, I could come with, uh, to Budapest. With Alex is there. I'm not sure. Do you want to check? Go check, go check, go check. Brace you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could come here like with 100,000 euros. Mm -hmm. I could eat in restaurants fancy restaurants i could drink the best beers and the yep. best wines but why would I, i do that i mean i'm drinking i'm having fun i'm meeting people yep. and that's enough for me yes i mean uh, the cheapest beer it's a really good beer over here yeah there's a bar that the shots like english lesson <laughs> Oh, go, 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 no problem, Louisa, no problem. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so... The, so you're doing it. You can drink, you can eat, like, yeah. food. Yeah, yeah. You can I can survive life. off fucking pretzels. Yeah. In, in Athens, they sell my favorite food. It's a ring of bread with sesame seeds on it. Oh, yeah. You get it for one euro. Yes, I there. need three of those a day, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It takes a long time for my body to get to that point where I can survive on that because it desires these things yeah. because it's habitual. Yeah? yeah? But if you break the habit, your body realigns. That means I can live in Europe, yeah. or in Athens at least, or, you know, on three euros a day for food. Now, all the money that's saved, guess what I do with it? What? I buy people drinks. Oh, wow, that's nice. You know what that does? You're making friends. Yes. You're keeping other people happy. Yes. Yeah. Easy. You know, I don't have to hoard it away. Mm -hmm. There's a thing called insurance. If you just cover your insurance, you're covered, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry. But insurance is meant to make you relax. Yeah. I know it's a pain in the ass when you have to, <laughs> something happens, but it's mm -hmm. it's weight off shoulders. Mm -hmm. All of this insured. 
if this falls off now, break, no problem. It's annoying, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to be like, oh, my life is ended. No, it's just, yeah. I, I will get it back eventually. It's in, it's already in the process, but I have to work for it. Yeah. And that's, that goes for your life, hospital, you know, anything. You just do the insurance, let it be there, and then you relax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it, that's, that's real. Because I had a, a, a flight back to Brazil in September 12th. And it was from Madrid to Sao Paulo. Mm -hmm. But I decided to, to stay here. Mm -hmm. And Me my, too. My, Same situation. My insurance, my health insurance expired like that, September 12th. Oh. I was going downstairs to smoke a cigarette. You realized? No, no, no. Yeah. Actually, I fell on the stairs. Oh. <laughs> you fell down the stairs? Yeah. No. I hurt my arm and my ankle. I was like, shit. Oh. I'm like, yeah, sure it's expired today. And I was like, fuck, no, should I go to Brazil? But I already lost my, my flight. Oh, shit. But That's the kind of stuff that would drive me insane. Yeah. Because I, 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 get, I get really spiteful with the universe when this happens. Yeah. Like, why universe does this have to happen now? The timing of it, plane, hurt, now, one day out, fuck you. That's yeah. so fucked. <laughs> I was distracted. Distracted. I mean... If I was paying attention to Sarah's, uh, I wouldn't do it. I mean, sometimes I, I, I like to uh, see the, the things as a, a good thing. I mean, I film the stairs, all right, I, I can uh, complain about it. Always see or, good and bad situation, good philosophy. Yeah. I can say, okay, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, right now, I don't have health insurance anymore, <laughs> so I need to be careful. Ah, <laughs> okay. you, take, you own the mistakes. Yeah. Very simple. You make simple. a mistake, you own it, take responsibility for it, you yeah. learn from it. Yeah, I, I could complain about, oh shit, I, yeah. I, I heard and... But it's yeah, negative but, energy. Yeah, but... Oh. What's going to change? Yeah, yeah it'll make My you pasty. Yeah. 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 Your arm still hurts. Your ankle still hurts. Yeah. <laughs> but in one situation, you are like Buddha. In other situation, you are like Hitler. Why do you say that? Because in one situation you are learning and reflecting, in the other one you are cursing and being aggressive. Mm -hmm. okay. like I'm, I'm like Hitler sometimes. In this situation, mm -hmm. you saw, I don't know if you've seen me walk around when I'm grumpy, like I'm, <laughs> ah, fuck, 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 because I'm negative, thinking negative, negative. But yeah, if I could be better, I would do more like you say. Yeah, uh, well, I, I used to be like this, and... It wasn't healthy. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, not at all. No, because all. negative energy affects water and body. Yeah? A mm -hmm. lot of things. Yes, but fundamentally, mm -hmm. yeah. water and body. If you have two bottles of water, and they did this as an experiment. You can Google this. Oh, really? Um, they took a bottle of water and bottle of water, put in one room, other room, mm -hmm. and they play like sound mm -hmm. of voices in each room. Uh -huh. Right. In one room, voices were saying, I hate you, you are evil, you are fucking cunt, yeah, da, da, da. yeah? Mm -hmm. In other room, you are so beautiful, I love you, da, da. for the whole night. They okay. took both bottles of water, they put under a microscope, and they looked. You should see what they see. Really? It's incredible. Can you Google? Yeah, yeah it's like with plants. Same, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the plants. Yeah, I read about that one. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's on effect everything. Yeah, now that's energy. Yeah, okay, it's just sound, but it's energy. So, um, your body, scientifically, is made up of ninety percent water. It's ninety. Google it. Not 70? 70. 70? Is it 70? Yeah. I think 70. Yeah. Okay, I think I thought 90, but 70, yeah? Still, 70% is made up of water. Mm -hmm. So if you are saying to yourself, ah, fucking idiot, I can't believe I fucking did that, constantly, every day, mm -hmm. in every situation, or if you're thinking and talking to yourself, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm fearful, your body is becoming, with water, mm -hmm. that... Thing. Yeah. yeah. It you are creating your your sickness. Yeah, and 
that's why when you're you're like this, you make like you make people around you feel the same. Yeah, it's energy. I mean, yeah, vibes. Vibes. Mm. It's when all I, about the vibes. When I, I realized that, it was crazy because uh, I, I I like to joke. <laughs> I, I, I like to make people laugh, and I I really like to laugh. But at, at, at some point of my life, I was complaining about uh, the, the things that was happening, mm-hmm. and I was complaining and complaining and complaining, and I I started hating everyone because they were like, ah, "Shit, uh, this fucking." And then I, I realized I was, it's not their fault. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm always complaining. I'm always in this bad mm-hmm. mood. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's not their fault. I mean, my my mood is like. It's turning the the people like it's turning people down is people I, I, I don't know. So mm. at that day I, I stopped complaining about everything. And sometimes I, I, I sounds like I'm complaining about something like, oh shit, I, I fell on the stairs yesterday and don't have health insurance anymore. Mm. And people are like, oh shit, I was like, yeah, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, but fuck. Oh. What can I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. but if you know, I'm really worried about it, I, I just buy a, yeah. another one. Yeah, exactly. It's, there, not, it's not that big a deal. No, Everything no. should be a bit about that. It's not that big a deal. No, actually, I, I, I read something on the internet, and that helped me a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if I can translate that in English. Uh, let me see. Mm-hmm. It was something like this. If you have a problem... Uh, uh, you have two ways yeah. to, to deal yeah. with that. Yeah. Can you uh, uh, fix it? Yeah. Can you fix it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fix it. You should don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can fix it. Just yeah. fix it. Just fix yeah. it. Yeah. Can you fix it? No. no. Then, then don't worry, don't about, worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fix it. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> Worrying <laughs> will not fix it. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. What's the point? I've seen this. I've seen this somewhere. Yeah. And yeah. that's that's really that's really crazy because yeah. it's true. When you stop to think about that, it's yeah. You know when you should be worried? When you are in room with Bear. (laughs) You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our worry is from the days of caves when we are in situations where our life is in imminent danger. You know imminent? Yeah, yeah. You guys say, you, you said, Serge, you said before, I can't do this because my English is not good. Yeah, it's not good enough. <laughs> good enough. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, uh, uh, you know what imminent means, for uh, God's uh, sake. Uh, that's that's not a common English yeah. word. My vocabulary is, is, is not that bad. Uh, I know a lot of words, but when I talk, it's hard to me to... Uh, uh, to use the words in the sentence? Is yeah. Okay. So Well, I feel like I've been speaking to English language, natural English speakers. This whole <laughs> for twenty three minutes, man. <laughs> so don't yeah. tell me you can't speak English yeah. ever again. I mean, right now I can. And when I said oh, I can't do it, my English is not that good. You say we can talk, right? Then we can talk in the record. I'm like, okay, makes sense. That does. But right? in my my first month over here, like two weeks at least. Yeah. My English was really, really, really bad. So what made it better? talking to people exactly you know what this thing is not only is it a podcasting machine it's an english teacher it's everything it's It's uh, also a karaoke machine yeah that would be nice (laughs) we can do it yeah Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) and when i get up when i get up and sing (laughs) (laughs) but even so karaoke is a demonstration of courage Oh, yeah, I do enjoy singing. You know, uh, I wanted to speak of this. So before this, I went to Greece. I read the saying over there, which was by some Greek author. It mm-hmm. said, I fear nothing, I hope for nothing, and I am free. Exactly. It's so beautiful. I've, I mean, got, I've got the fear down pat. I don't mm-hmm. fear anything anymore, unless I'm in a room with a bear. <laughs> I also fear suffering. Mm-hmm. I fear my own suffering in my head. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I still hope and, yeah, I and think that and that ma- and that makes me a little bit not free. I'm half not free. I don't know. Like it, it was like when I heard that. Like when I, I actually read it uh, 
I mean, it was printed on a T-shirt. It was in Greek. So the lady over there, she read it to me. I actually felt like imminent peace. It felt so good. You had a you had an awakening. Yeah, I'm actually like that. Uh, so I'm a writer and a poet. I You're like, a writer. Yeah. And a poet. Yeah. Like me. Uh-huh, all right. You yes. Write. So I do li- write poetry, but that's you know it, it depends on from when to where I write it. So it was like reading that. It was so good. It was just, just amazing. Hey, listen. Um, my kids at high mm-hmm. school right now, mm-hmm. I'm not there because I'm here, uh-huh. they are doing a, a unit about poetry. Uh-huh. Okay? Can uh-huh. we do a poetry podcast? Yeah, sure. And maybe I send to them and they we could, they can use it as a resource? Yeah, sure. But I think I'll have to look through the kind of poems because it's like there were times, I mean, typically poetry comes to me when I'm you know, in a deep or dark place. Yeah, me too. So, so it's like the poetry is really dark. So. That's fine. That's beautiful. You are taking something dark, you are making something beautiful, and if someone reads it, they, don't, they might not get triggered, but being triggered is actually not a bad thing. Yeah. No, it's not. It no. means that you're faced with something and then you are dealing with it. Mm-hmm. And the, the aftermath of the storm, mm-hmm. the trigger is a storm. Mm-hmm. What is a storm? A storm is beautiful. I love storms. Mm-hmm. Have you been in a storm before? Oh, uh, no, I not. Yeah. Try it. <laughs> it is incredible. Stand underneath it. Uh-huh. Watch it come. Mm-hmm. Be the calm before the storm. Uh-huh. Stand in the middle of it. Okay. Let it fall on you. Mm-hmm. Let the lightning crash, the thunder roar, and then watch it go past. And then see how you feel. Yeah, you'd feel the peace of it. Yeah. You just like my favorite song in the world is called Tempest. Okay. Do you know what Tempest is? Tempest? Yeah. Sure. Tempest, Tempest. T E M P E S T? Yeah. It's like. Tempest. Uh, we have a word in Portuguese, I think it's the same. Uh, tempestade. It's like the star. It's like when it's raining and it's like. That's it, that's Tempest. Oh, no, what do you say? I don't know. Tempestade. Tempestage. Tempestade. 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 Yeah, tempestade. That's tempest, yeah. No. Now, mm-hmm. a tempest will be just that. You know what that means? It's just a storm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not something to be afraid of. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when a trigger happens, it's just a tempest. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's just that. It's, it'll pass. So when you trigger, <laughs> you have to allow yourself to experience and then... But isn't very, it's very di- uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> but from discomfort comes strong comfort later, I oh. feel. But if you ponder on things, mm-hmm. if, you, if you allow it to, it, it, can, it can be the most dangerous thing as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah? It, it, I think it totally depends on how you deal with it. Exactly. Uh, because like... Um, so my childhood was very like happy go lucky. I I had no idea what sadness really is. Wow, like, lucky you. I mean, or are you lucky? Uh, like it's something like I wouldn't really know what sadness was because I didn't give it much importance. Like if something didn't happen, it didn't happen. I you didn't, didn't put care. a spotlight on it. Yeah. So maybe later, you know, when I realized like how what what exactly sadness was or something like that. So I realized like in the starting, I used to take longer to get over it. I think, but later it was like, yeah, this will pass too. You know, it's this like too that. shall pass. Yeah, that's another good expression. This too shall pass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When Can you're in the darkness, mm-hmm. you have to remember this too shall pass. Yeah, a tempest must be just that. Yeah, yeah. that's a really nice thing. A tempest must. Be just that. You have to place the value yourself. Mm-hmm. It must be just that. Mm-hmm. If you make a tempest w- uh, uh, a problem, mm-hmm. then it will be a problem. Yeah, of yeah. course. You, you can't like feel that every single feeling that you're feeling at the moment, it's the, it's the, the true, I, I mean, yeah. you're going to feel like this forever. Forever. No, 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 it's I not. Mean, mm-hmm. It's not. There's a really beautiful song in Portuguese. Mm-hmm. It says, uh, it's something, tristeza não tem fim, felicidade sim, it's like, uh, sadness, uh, it's unlimited, mm. but happiness is limited, mm. and, and, and there's a, it's, 
it's kind of a, a, a joke uh, behind that. I like this. Yeah, when you think about it, I was like, oh, oh shit, huh? what do you mean like the, mm -hmm. the, the sadness is, is endless? Like, but once you, you, you think about it, it's like uh, sad things uh, always happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. How do you deal with that? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, you gotta you gotta take every situation as it comes, yeah. mm -hmm. with with a fresh perspective and with an open mind. Yeah, yeah. And with with willingness to suffer a little bit to be okay later. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you're always happy, you're gonna suffer because you don't know what sadness is. Yeah. And you can't compare. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't really appreciate. It. So you know, if a happy person with a happy life, mm -hmm. if they um, if they're so happy that if they um, if they bump like this, they go, fuck, that was terrible. What was that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. See, with someone who's happy all the time, little things may be a big deal because it's like little bad thing, always happy. So it's still it. the body and the mind doesn't know the difference. Yeah. 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 Just like in, um, if you're very sad all the time, mm -hmm. and then one little thing goes good, right, and it you makes you feel like extremely happy, extremely happy yeah, right? Yeah. So it's all about context and shape. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's all about that. Oh God, I'm tired now. <laughs> so um, we've gone for well more than thirty minutes, I'd say, because we did a pause, didn't we? Yeah, to I think do the so button. One hour. Yeah, I reckon an hour we've been. Yeah. Wow. And I reckon this has been one of the most philosophical ones we've done. <laughs> yeah, really I cool. think. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, you need to understand something, Ninja. Yeah. What? A tempest must be just that. Tempest? <laughs> what? Tempest. Tem oh, uh -huh. I don't know what's that. How do you explain? So tempest... Um, Heavy rain. Heavy, heavy rain. Rain, yeah, uh -huh. it's like heavy rain. rain, like storms, thunder, lightning, everything together. Whoa, yeah. See, look at the face you made. You see that? <laughs> Ooh, that sounds horrible. Do you like storm? No. Why not? We don't have storm in Taiwan, so I didn't know how terrible it is. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need. She needs to be woke. All right, ready? Now, a tempest is a storm. Next time you see storm, mm -hmm. go out into storm. Yes. <laughs> Do it. You, you will change, I think. Okay. Or are you going to die? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm yeah. going to die. How do you die in a storm? <laughs> oh, lightning. Have to You'd have to be lightning. very unlucky. <laughs> you'd have to be very unlucky to be struck by lightning. Yeah. I mean, you could drown, but then you'd have to be pretty useless if you're going to allow yourself to drown in the storm. I'm, I'm talking a storm, not, not like a cyclone or a fucking, you know. Yeah. A tempest is just a storm. Yeah? You can't die in a tempest, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not scary if you realise it. But if you can sit through a storm and, and be present and see it and, and oh. enjoy it, mm -hmm. and actually you will not be afraid of it anymore. Okay. You can apply this to all things that are like a storm. Mm -hmm. And some, there are things that are like storms. Anger or a, a fight is like a, a tempest. Mm -hmm. It's chaotic, it's aggressive, it's loud, it's scary. Mm -hmm. um, mania is a storm. Mm -hmm. When someone loses their mind and they go, ah, that's a storm. Mm -hmm. I've never seen someone going, ah, forever. They'll go, ah, 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 ah. you know? Yeah. It always passes. Yeah? But people get afraid in the moment that it will stick with them forever, like you said. And that's what makes them scared. And that, that is what makes them try and avoid, try and like change, try and be better, try to be happy, positive thoughts, da, da, da. It's all an avoidance of that situation when if you realise that situation is not bad. Yeah. And this is easy for us to say, but I've been going through my tempest for three months. Wow. Mm, heavy heavy tempest for three months. And I only could understand this because I had to sit through tempest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And every day a new tempest comes. Every fucking day for me. Yeah? I think that, you know what, I feel like 
the tempest like a for, for each person it's different but it's definitely there mm-hmm. i mean uh mm. the way i see it like for like how you mentioned before like for some people because they're very happy even the smallest things yeah exactly so it's like uh I feel something on these terms like you know uh, sometimes I'm really frustrated my friend it's just pings me and I'm like so happy I ping her like oh my god I love you yeah, so, yeah exactly you know, yeah it's yeah. like that it's, it's like totally it I'm, changes all the time yeah and yeah. I feel like it's so dependent on the person because sometimes it's like uh, even the smallest thing frustrates you to, yeah. you know like the biggest yeah. thing like for example uh, I'm very uh, do you put it i keep falling a lot all the time Clum- clumsy yeah. yeah very clumsy yeah so <laughs> <laughs> very clumsy you're like my wife my wife is very clumsy she fall all over the place she fall downstairs she has to have super insurance <laughs> so uh if you remember like when i entered the you know the hotel uh-huh. so just at the entrance there were these you know collection Sit. of maps yeah and i was just going to go sit i kind of moved that and the whole thing fell down <laughs> <laughs> i like those people um you know vinny you remember vinny the mm-hmm. italian boy who was yeah, here yeah. yeah vinny was like this he was a t- yeah, italian boy skinny kind of uh-huh. hair like this tattoo hey man what's going on he was like this he's <laughs> he's like a for the podcast the first one thing he was he sits down <laughs> and it was chaos, yeah. And then uh, and we're trying to have a conversation and he's just like <laughs> And I was like, "Vinny, are you fucking finished? <laughs> Can you stop moving?" <laughs> But I like this. because uh clumsiness mm-hmm. like this is a little bit of chaos. Yeah. I like little bit of chaos. <laughs> little bit chaos makes you it makes you stop and think and feel. Think What do you do with chaos? You know, I think uh for me it's like I got used to it like really in the starting I used to get really pissed off with myself because I had to break things or throw things. I had lost my phone or broken it. It's almost in five times now. Yeah. It's in the past two years. <laughs> 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 I was going to say in your entire life. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you will not believe the previous phone that so the phone I'm using now is my old phone because I got a new phone the day I put my SIM in it I lost it. Oh, you're oh. you're a bit like me actually. <laughs> like I I've, I've lost my phone mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Oh, about 3 days ago. Mm-hmm. I still haven't arranged to go to the place where I've lost it to ask if it was handed in. Mm-hmm. I've been meaning to do that for uh-huh. four days, but <laughs> everything keeps getting in the way. Yeah. I've lost, like I said, the headphones, a uh-huh. big bundle. Uh-huh. Uh, I lost two phones. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've got a fucking, I, I'm, I actually should be doing work. I don't know, <laughs> you know we got to wrap this up. Yeah. You know, we got to actually have to wrap this up. But you know, the whole clumsiness thing, uh-huh. it, it's, it's, it's annoying for you because for me, when I'm clumsy, mm-hmm. I'm worried about how our people are looking at me. I I'm I'm like more worried that I don't cause any damage to other people. For myself, I'm like used to it, so I'm like ah, yeah, it's all right. Cool. My my friend, I remember like um, I've been traveling with her when I was at Greece. So when I came here, I started doing solo travels. She calls me up and she's like, "Yeah. So how many things did you throw down today? <laughs> 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 Whom have you pushed yet?" Yeah, yeah. All right. So now whenever there's some kind of loud noise happening in the hostel in terms of something banging, We know it's yeah, you. you know. <laughs> <laughs> What was your name again? Priyanka. I have to Priyanka. Yeah. How do you spell? P R I Y A N K A. Oh Jesus. P R I Y A N K A. Yeah. Priyanka. Yeah. Do you guys know each other's names? No. I think I got his search. Right. Yeah. Search. I didn't get yours. It was Ninja. So that's not right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Actually, Ning. I'm sorry. Actually, my name is in- Ning. Ning. Yeah. Ning. Ning. Yeah. Ning. Ning. Ja. <laughs> that's how you remember. Fine. I think that's how I remember you know. Okay, Ninja. Yeah. Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Brace you. All right, guys. That'll do. I reckon we're done. So thank you for joining me on the podcast. Um if you want to keep this podcast you have to pay me whatever you want. Uh-huh. <laughs> it could be 1 euro, mm-hmm. it could be 20 euro, it could be 100 euro. Uh-huh. 
from. Okay. But I think this is, if I was to put a value to this, mm -hmm. and you brought the value, mm -hmm. you brought the value to this, mm -hmm. I facilitated, mm -hmm. I would pay for this piece of advice, <laughs> oh my God, ah. a thousand <laughs> fucking euros. <laughs> you yeah, would be us. having these. All right, all right. If you want to use my voice, you need to pay me. Mm, let's see. <laughs> 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 All right, and that's <laughs> fuck, <Okay>. man. <laughs> fuck. No, I'm losing money. Hey, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> 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 now you guys are fucking DJing together. Oh, that is fucking awesome. All right, okay, guys. Say 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 your goodbyes, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you later. All right. All right. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wait, let's say goodbye in each of our languages. Bye-bye. In Taiwanese? Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No. That's better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ta-da. 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 Yeah, ta-da. Oh, ta-da. T-A-T-A. -A. Oh, ta-da. Like oh, ta-da. Yeah. But that's English. No, uh, so it's like... We actually buy or ta-da? Ah, oh, I suppose. Let, let, this is real language, right? Yeah, so ta-ta, bye-bye. Ciao-ciao. Ciao-ciao. Bye-bye. Ta-ta. Ciao-ciao. Zai-jian. zai Ta-da. Ta-da. Ciao-ciao. Ciao-ciao. Ciao-ciao is not Germany. Ger Ger Germany. I don't no, know. it's we Portuguese. No. Brazil. Yeah. But I, I ciao. went to, yeah, I went to Germany. They say ciao. No, Germany, Italy. Oh, ciao is very yeah. popular. In yeah. Italy, oh. they say ciao. Oh, yeah. Ciao, People bella. Germany, yeah, they when they, they oh, okay. yeah. meet up. And they say hello too, ciao. Hey, hello, yeah. ciao, and ciao. goodbye, ciao yeah. as well. Ciao, ciao. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. See you guys. We're fucking off. Bye.